welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the market. So, uh, Representative Robert Lighthouser said today that the trade deal, the first phase with China, is done. So, I will be interesting to see if it really gets signed. But the market is up here tonight now, Sunday night. The futures are up because of that reason. And, and again, we're not up a lot, but let's just blow it up here and take a look at it. I mean, we're basically right here. So, like, if it was tomorrow and we open here, we're gonna we're gonna move higher. So, uh, I I said we were higher Friday. It was right. We had the follow through. Went over the high from the breakout Thursday, and I really think any gap up in the market tomorrow is is higher. But it's not tomorrow yet, okay? And Amazon, for those of you that are in the option letter, I think was a solid, solid good exit on Friday. It was good profit, it was a solid exit. Um, not Amazon, I'm sorry, Adobe. Um, this was, you know, a good solid exit. 325 is the next target on this, if anybody's still in it. But I think this was a good exit on Friday. If you got out of it, leave it be, okay? If you're still in it and the market rallies tomorrow, this could go to 325. But again, I've suggested this before to people and review it for, for those of you in the options course on Thursday um, in more detail about looking for profits and getting out. This was a good trade Thursday if you took it and got out of it. If you're still in it and the market's higher tomorrow, it's gonna go more. Now, if you got out of the market trades Friday, fine. If you're still in them, they look good to run up. So it's really hard to say here where we're gonna to open tomorrow, it's just way too early. But in anticipation of the news, it looks like we will be gapping up tomorrow in all market indices, and I think that any gap up, small, medium, anything, okay, will run higher in the market. We did not reach 320, that's an ethereal number, and we got very close, and so if we gap up tomorrow, we're gonna to probably run up to 320 in the SPY. Let me just look here at the news. And 210 in the queues. So 210 in the queues, 320 in the spies, the numbers are going to be watching. You know, it, it depends. The, the market's been running up in anticipation of this trade deal. So it's like, are we going to have a massive, massive move again without nothing being inked? I mean, who's to say? But we could just continue to rally on positive news that one is coming. And that's what we may very well do tomorrow. So be careful. Don't be upset with yourself if you got out of all the calls on Friday. And again, if you if you stayed in them, you may be okay. But I really think that Adobe was a solid exit Friday. But some of these things are really gone big. I mean, some of these things are, are, are I mean, it's interesting because we're, we're actually starting to see some follow through. So, you know, we'll see where we go into January 2020. But we are actually starting to see some follow through. In, in moves, which is positive. Positive for the market, positive for stocks, and positive for us. So good luck, everyone. We'll see what happens this week. Have a good night.